Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dora of Increase. My name is Nazanese for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And today's video, as the title says above, is a really, really small Delilah box. Delilah box? No, it's a small Grace and Delilah haul. <laughs> I'm used to saying the Delilah box from the Grace and Delilah shop, but I actually did a small mini order with them because there were a few things that I really, really wanted and I tried to wait it out, but I was just like, you know what, let me treat myself to these items that I really, really wanted. And so I'm going to share with you guys what it is. And if you saw my Instagram um, video, which I'll leave it linked down below, you guys would have saw the packaging. Just Taylor does a phenomenal job with her packaging down to her boxes and her handmade bags and just everything about it was amazing for the delilah box so i was really really excited to just order something from her website and see how her regular packaging is and it's so cute the little um baggy envelope that it came in was so pretty and floral and i was sad that i had to get rid of it but i did and everything came in a gorgeous hot pink box now a little thing about me is i love the color pink um i really do pink used to be my favorite color but then I switched over to lavender because lavender is just a soft, beautiful purple color. But um, pink is one of those things that I still love. I love hot pinks, bubblegum pinks, neon pinks, just pink, pink. I can do pink. I love, I love a good pink. And this box just screams everything to me. So I will be keeping this box. If you guys don't know, I keep and utilize most of her boxes. I have three of the Delilah boxes from last year. I have the Delilah box from this year, which is gorgeous. And now I have this box. So we love and i will definitely be repurposing these boxes of course but yeah it came in this gorgeous gorgeous box and on the inside i'm not going to show you guys because my receipt is on the top um but i do have my receipt and she did like put a little signature on it so i only bought four items i limited myself to four items i really was going to go crazy and buy a bunch of pens but i didn't and um let me know how you guys like this sort of setup i tried to like i said fix this area up here because obviously this was peeling over here and then this used to be my prayer wall but because i had to move this bookshelf on this side i decided to take all my prayers down and then i only put up a few prayers and the ones that you can see i don't mind you guys reading um if you pause the video or whatever but um this prayer on my wall that's blue i got from a book called anywhere faith by heather c king and it's literally the anywhere faith prayer i have a prayer for strength to stand um this image i can't remember where it came from it probably came from um one of the boxes from the Delilah box I'm not 100% sure and then I just have my unicorn stickers here and then I have some stuff on this side of the wall can I show you guys really quick so over here I have some stuff here because obviously I can't have the entire wall like I used to and thus I wanted to at least keep some prayers um, at the forefront and my other prayers I ended up putting into a little mini photo album which I'll probably do an updated video on um, my prayer wall and things like that if you guys are interested let me know i know i did a video before on it but um i can definitely do an updated one if you guys are interested but we have that receipt and i only bought four items and then we have a note because taylor included this book here which is the changeling by gail galliant um i'm assuming this is a non-fiction yes yeah, it's, it's a a memoir so it's a memoir by uh or about gail gal 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 gallant gal i don't um tongue tied yeah gail g there is the author's name i don't know but um yeah it's a memoir of her death rebirth her haunted childhood her education in sainthood and sin so um yeah it sounds really really good and i'm super super excited to dive into this book this book was published with double day canada double day has a book subscription type of service that i my mom did order from for, from before for me so um yeah i'm excited to dive into that and she included a note with it so i'm definitely going to keep the note inside the book of course but we have this book and then we get into the goodies so i did get some more goodies from her which i will show towards the end but the main reason i made a purchase was because i really wanted these cards now these are the christian culture cards by culture games um and i believe they're an african-based company um i will leave the link or the ig for both the culture games as well as the C C christian culture why am i getting tongue-tied the christian culture igs down below but if you guys saw my little igtv video both um companies are linked and um yeah it's basically game of christian conversations it's 103 questions so you have icebreakers hot topics interpretations and stories and oh my god you guys this is 
phenomenal i love it so much it's a non-competitive game and it's just all about fun and really being able to converse and um really get to know people and i love the question so you guys know that i got this set um the word teasers faith edition from my little sis basically she's my little sister my little brother's girlfriend um she got this for me and i love this this comes with a hundred and 50 cards so each card uh focuses on a specific word from the bible so um for this one it's focused on follow it gives you a question and then on the back you'll get a meaning the biblical verse that it refers to in further discussion to um talk about that word and that question and i just think it's such a phenomenal thing um it's non-competitive of course it's just to really get conversation going and get you to understand the different words within uh, biblical context and i am ever since getting those i've just been hooked on wanting more cards and i know that um taylor posted on the shop grace and delilah ig that she had gotten these cards and i was like you know what i need to get it you can get these on amazon but i did order it through her website um so i'm excited for these and like i said you probably saw the video that i did but let me just take the cards out because honestly this was like the big reason why i made the purchase um if it wasn't for these cards i probably would have waited a little longer but i need i wanted these cards so you get six cards at the beginning um that goes through some basic information so it talks about the story of how the cards were created um and then on the back it talks about the different categories so the icebreakers are quick and fun prompts to start ideas to start the ideas flowing the hot topics um, are the thought-provoking and possibly controversial prompts. The green ones are going to be interpretation, which are discussions of scripture, and then there's yellow ones, which are stories, um, touching conversations about people's lives and experiences. So that's the first card. The next one tells you how to play it, and then it gives you some suggestions on how to use a deck. You can just pick cards from the deck at random. You can do the quick play deck. You can do one that's for parties or youth groups. You can do a Bible study version of it. You can do a, a light discussion version. You can do a serious discussion or just for life, for fun. And um, I love that that's included because these cards are amazing. So I'm going to just run through a few of these. If you saw my IG video, then you know what they have. But um, the first four cards are going to be white cards and they're bonus cards. Um, so this first bonus card just says, says say something nice about the person to your right so if you're playing this with a bunch of people and i just dropped the card but um i can't pick it back up okay so if you're playing this game with like a bunch of people you can literally just pick the person to your right and everyone just share something nice about that person um and then you have the have you ever card so there's three cards and they're more pointed systems which i mean most people will get points for these obviously so the first one says have you ever been baptized sung in the choir pretended to put money in the offering or been giving a prophecy so you would get two points or one point however the case may be and here's how that looks up close i think i would get all the points on this so i would get five points because i have been baptized when i was younger i did sing in the youth choir um i did pretend to put money in the offering before but it was like i had like <laughs> It wasn't that I had money and then like tried to put it in and took it out. It was just like I pretended that I had money because when we were younger, they would make the children go and put anything, even if it wasn't anything in there. And even my bishop today, I remember he used to tell us all the time, even if you had no money to get up and give an offering, even if you didn't have it because you went up there with your faith and put your faith in the offering basket, if that makes sense. So we did that and I have been given plenty of prophecies. So um, that was a fun one. Then the other one for have you ever um, is have you ever received communion? Have you ever worked or volunteered in church? Have you ever fell asleep? during a sermon or have you ever spoken in tongues now i would only pass the first three i don't believe i've ever spoken in tongues i don't think i ever have um and then the other have you ever card looks like this and it says have you ever attended three services in one day i have i've actually attended four services in a day wild day um have you ever attended a church convention have you ever cried in church or have you ever preached the gospel and um it's just fun little cards like that which i think are fun and then you go directly into your colored cards so like i said the blue cards are going to be your icebreaker cards and according to um where is that i just want to make sure i'm giving you guys the right information so um according to the little card it says they're quick fun prompts to start ideas flowing so here's one it says what is one word that describes who god says you are another one is what is the most influential christian book you have read besides the scriptures which i think is funny because obviously most people would say the bible but um it goes to show that reading christian books in general whether it's fiction or non-fiction can definitely be influential in your walk so i love that they asked that question um if you were noah which animal would you have left off of the ark <laughs> what i probably would have left skunks off that, that, that would have been my answer skunks i think skunks are nasty they stink um which bible character would have the most instagram followers and why and you can't repeat someone else's answer which i think is interesting because of 
one person says Jesus and someone else can't say Jesus, you really have to think about the different people within the Bible. Um, so I think definitely, if not Jesus, then David, and if not David, then Peter, and if not Peter, then Paul, um, maybe even Ruth or Esther or something like that. So this one says, which Bible translation do you use and why? Which is a good one um, because a lot of people argue about the different translations out there. So I think I don't mind any of the translations. I think the only two I try to stay away from personally is the NIV, um, just for personal reasons, and then the message. I will glance through it, but I don't really rely on it that much, if that makes sense. Um, and another one I can give you guys is, which Bible character do you relate to the most and why? So those are just the blue ones. They're just fun, quick questions that you can ask. Um, and then you go straight into your red cards which are the hot topic and what I didn't show you guys is um, on the front the card is whatever color it is it tells you the sort of topic area and then on the back it has the little um, color with what the card is okay so moving on to the red ones the red ones are hot topic ones and the hot topics are thought-provoking and possibly controversial prompts so this would definitely get you talking right so let's see um, Here's one question. Do you believe God gives you choices or are events in your life predetermined? And I think he definitely gives us choices, but I also think that there is a such thing called, called um, divine appointment. So I personally think it's a mix of both. Um, he definitely gives us a choice. He doesn't make us robots. He gives us a choice to say yes or no. He would rely, not rely, he would rather us say yes all the time and do the right things, but he gives us that choice to make error and make mistakes because we're human. So that's a fun question. Um, another one is it says vote on the best answer so i guess people would have to like say something and then you vote um it says which bible character would you most likely have to bail out of jail often <laughs> i personally think it would be peter just because peter had a whole lot of uh, anger issues you know he was quick to do things um here's another question it says is there a perfect time to pray and does it even matter that's a good one um what are some important topics that the church churches should address but don't wow um that's good that's good okay do you believe all christians should be able to speak in tongues mm. we're gonna move along um if you were peter what would you have done when the soldiers came to arrest jesus and if you don't know peter basically sliced one of the guy's ears and you know jesus said don't do that put the ear back on a man and you know it came back on i was like oh i wouldn't know i probably would have been like peter Pro probably honestly I, I wouldn't know but um that's the red stack um and then you go to the green stack which is interpretations so the green cards look like that and then the interpretations are just discussion of scripture and so it says what does christianity mean to you what is your biggest le lesson from the life of david um why do you think jesus wept when lazarus died what is your understanding of the trinity what gets us to heaven what are your thoughts on fasting? And then does suffering serve a purpose? Are there benefits to our trials? I think that's amazing. I really do. Um, you can obviously relate all of these back to scripture. And um, that's the green stack. And then the last stack is going to be the yellow one, which the yellow ones are stories. And again, it says they're touching conversations about people's lives and experiences. Here's what the yellow look like, looks like. And it says, um, share an experience when God came through for you right on time is one question. The next one is when you have to make important decisions how do you seek and know god's will that's a good question here's one describe a time in your life when pain was transformed into purpose wow i could mention so many times oh my gosh um how do you tell people about jesus and what are some obstacles you face how do you wait upon the lord what was your longest wilderness season and how long did it last wow what are some ways that Christians in the church can support members experience, experiencing significant life changes, which is phenomenal. So these cards are amazing. And I think even if you don't play it as a game, this would be great to like shuffle, just shuffle them up and use them for journaling prompts or prayer prompts or whatever the case may be. Um, because there's such um, thought provoking questions i'm sorry guys i'm just putting them back together in the proper order but um i that that was the main reason why i purchased these cards and i know i talked about these cards for a pretty long time and i'm, I'm sorry i put them back in the, in the box now but i'm excited to play this 
I'm definitely going to utilize it at church. I'm going to utilize it here on the channel. I'll pick a card. Um, so one day I'll pick from this box. Another, not one day, but one video I'll pick from this box, and then another video I'll pick from this box, and I'm going to include it on my Instagram and on the Facebook group and on the Facebook page because I think those are both great. But um, yeah, this was the one that I really wanted, and the price for this. Let me show you, tell you guys quickly. Um, the price for this was $10.99. So definitely, if you're interested, grab it on her website. $10.99 for these, phenomenal. Um, and then obviously. I bought some pens because we like her little pens they're just gorgeous so I purchased three and then I got two extra ones as well so here is the first one that I got this was the one I really wanted there were two that I really really wanted and then I just picked up a third one but this one says just one more chapter it is bookish of course and there are florals and I mean I'm a book nerd why not I really wanted that one so that's the one that I got and then is this the other one yes this is the other bookish one that's blue and it's gorgeous with the florals i just i love it it speaks to me of course and it says book lover on it book lover wait there we go book lover i love this one so much and i do wear these actually um i pair them with the brooches that i picked up from one of my sisters from church i don't mind putting these on my outfits i don't mind um i don't know what happened oh gosh it's stuck okay um, I don't mind putting these on my bags and things like that. I can pop it on a hat and my hair as like a, um, a little, you know, decal. I could even stick it on my hat if I wanted to. Like if I really wanted to, I could pop this somewhere on my hat for the day. Like that's cute. Duh. Um, and I'm not telling you guys prices. Ha ha ha. Okay. So this one here, the Just One More Chapter, um, which is the first one that I showed you was eight bucks. Okay. And then this blue one was also eight bucks. Um, so no don't don't look at me look at that okay there we go so that was eight bucks and then this next one i'm going to show you guys was only 7.25 um and this i thought was really cute i loved what it said and that's why i got it honestly i think this would be a great one just to wear anywhere um and it says there is strength in your softness and i personally got it for me because i'm a very very uh soft-spoken person i'm very introverted you ladies might not see that across the camera but i am very quiet and introverted people call me the quiet before the storm um and i just i wanted this personally as a reminder for myself that there's strength in me being soft there's strength in my quietness and things like that and here's what that one looks like it's really really pretty and this one again was 7.25 um and then i got two additional ones in my package and i think it's so funny because one of them i actually have in my cart to purchase down the line and it just came in this package which i was here for because she has a few tea related ones and one that has books on it and this was one of them and i'm so excited so this one is black white and cream and it says happiness is a cup of tea and a good book um and this is really just me all day every day and i love the tea bag like hanging from it is so freaking gorgeous i could definitely see me like wearing this i could pin this on my hat somewhere i'm gonna try to figure out how to wear these on hats because i have no no idea um none whatsoever and then this one i actually already have it when she sent it in one of the boxes the delilah box um i can't remember which one but um i have another one so i probably will save this one for a giveaway but um it just says sorry i'm booked and it just has coffee with books okay and like i said i already own one which is here so I have two of those. So this is the one I originally had. And I'm going to save this one to actually give away. Because I don't need two of the same ones, obviously. Um, but I am super, super excited for what I got. I love everything that I got. I think everything is gorgeous and just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And I love these pens. But these this, this is the reason for the purchase. This right here. If you guys can, I would definitely say get this. Because this would give you something to do when you want to um, pray a journal. A lot of people always ask about prayer journaling and i will do videos on prayer journaling i haven't honestly done a lot of prayer journaling myself because i have been verbally praying a lot more and utilizing my prayer walls but i want to get back into my prayer journaling and i think this is going to be a great way to get me into prayer journaling consistently um and really just having conversation with god on a daily basis because there's sometimes when i just don't know what to say what to talk about have nothing and this is going to help me um and motivate me so i'm super excited to have this i'm going to pair it with this and i'm just i i can't wait i can't wait and i'm gonna start next week playing with these because it's the weekend currently it's actually friday night that i'm making this video so yeah but i have these cards i'm super super excited and thus that's that for this haul but um 
yeah that's pretty much it for this video so i might do like a collection video maybe in march or february of all the pins that i have from the shop grace and delilah shop because i do plan to order some more <laughs> i do um they're cute i can wear them on shirts sweaters hoodies i can wear them on skirts um i'm i'm gonna find ways to wear these because they're cute okay they're cute and even if i just get a little uh, a little thing and like stick it on my wall and pin them in there it's cute it's cute don't give me no mind okay so i'm gonna sip my water and clearly shake the camera because that's what happened but um that is it for this video guys i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching rating commenting, subscribing and all that great stuff and i'll see you later bye